Welcome, welcome one and all. I love science. I may not be a witch, but here I am. I am the science witch and welcome back to another ship headcanons video. And this week we are covering our eighth Italia ship, I believe. And that ship is a poly ship, which is Pru Os Hun or Frying Pangle. Now, before we get started, I have to apologize. Not only for being so absent as of recently i mean it's been five days since my last upload which i feel really bad about i've just been really not motivated at all to do much of anything that is completely my fault and i'm sorry for not getting on top of my uploads tuesday i am leaving for florida and i have to record like four videos for that week that's gonna be fun and the other thing I want to apologize for is the very bad job I did of editing the last video. I completely missed parts I was supposed to cut out. I didn't go back and polish it after my first run through of editing. And I feel really bad because I went back and watched and was like, Oh, that did not go as well as I thought it did before I uploaded it. Again, completely my fault. So, the video still got good feedback regardless, so thank you. Um, and I'm gonna try and do a lot better on this video. That being said, we're going to get right into the headcanons for this ship. Starting off with, because there are three people in this relationship, what is the driving arrangement? Who sits in the back seat, basically? And for this, I am going to have to say it alternates because either way there is not a good result i have to say the best result would probably be austria driving hungry passenger and prussia in the back seat the other possibilities are slightly chaotic I honestly think that Hungary and Austria would be backseat drivers, so they probably wouldn't do the best in the backseat, but of the two of them, the best in the backseat would probably be Austria, because he could also bring like an iPod or something and listen to music while in the car, so Prussia and Hungary can just drive and complete peace and make their own decisions. Then again, that leaves either Prussia navigating or Prussia driving, which... I don't know if I trust the man with that. And then there's if Hungary was in the back, she'd definitely be a backseat driver, especially if Prussia was the one driving. I mean, there's a, there's quite a bit of possibilities and I really don't have the time to go through all of them, but the best case scenario would probably be Austria driving so he wouldn't have his music on and he wouldn't really be distracted by his music. Hungry would probably be the best at navigating and doing like map or GPS kinds of things and like figuring out where to go and stuff. And Prussia would probably get in the least trouble in the back seat, other than kicking Austria's seat and Hungry having to turn around and smack him with a frying pan. Uh, that's probably the most trouble he can get into in the back. Now we have a sort of weird setup for a headcanon, but this is their positions in a group chat. There are four choices here, but I'm only going to be using three because the fourth one really doesn't apply much here. Group chat meme. Are you person A, the one who is always sending shitty memes to the other people that no one else wants, B, the one who threatens to block person A for all their shitty trash memes, and see the one who reads everything but doesn't respond and is amused by the constant bickering and conflicts that go on between person A and person B. They should probably be pretty obvious. Uh, person A is Prussia because, you know, Prussia spends a lot of time on the internet, as we can tell by him watching, you know, watching movies and having his blog, or he hacked the blog on April Fool's Day, I think, or was it Valentine's Day? He hacked the blog on one of those days and, um, just tends to probably do a lot of blogging because he's not really a nation anymore, so he has a lot of spare time. There is really not much doubt in my mind of Prussia knowing of and enjoying memes. Person B 
is hungry because she seems to be the most, um, I guess you could say aggressive of the three of them. And the one who's the least tolerant of Prussia's bullshit and is most likely to call him out on it. And especially with the memes. I mean, she may enjoy some of them, but you know, when Prussia sends the entire script of the B movie in the group chat, that's when Hungry goes off on him. Knowing from experience, it gets annoying after a while. Yes, I have those kinds of friends. And last but not least, person C is Austria because simply he just doesn't seem like the kind of person to do much texting and so he would most likely get the notifications on his phone or even have the chat muted and just respond when he gets the chance or whenever he feels like it, which is not very often. In your OT3, who is the cat person, who is the dog person, and who is the bird person? I'm going to have to say Prussia is the dog person because as far as I know, him and Germany had dogs, or still have dogs. That to me just gives the implication that they, Prussia would probably be a dog person, along with his brother. I think Austria would be a cat person, because cats kind of tend to do their own thing. Having had cats all my life, I know they're relatively low maintenance and don't really make much of a noise or a fuss and tend to sleep for most of the day, which I think would be right up Austria's alley as when it comes to pets and the care that they need. And Hungry would be the bird person because one, that is the last one left, and two, I think she would enjoy them singing. Because Austria might find the singing aggravating and the chirping, the singing and the chirping annoying when he's trying to play his music. So um, I think Hungry would have the most fascination with the birds and would enjoy their music uh, more than the other two would. When thinking about your OT3, consider this. Who leaves notes for their partners around the house? Who has not set up their voicemail? And who never leaves the house without their iPod? For who leaves notes for their partners, that is going to be probably hungry because you know, she is the motherly type. Your stereotypical public school mother usually leaves notes for you in your lunch bag, at least when you're in elementary school or um, grade school. So that makes the most sense to me, that she would kind of go into motherly housewife mode and leave notes around the house so that when, when Austria or Prussia walks by and sees them, they're like, oh, okay, I need to do this for like chores or if they leave something around instead of cleaning up for them because Hungry doesn't have time for that bullshit, she leaves notes for them. Who has not set up their voicemail? Uh, that is probably going to be Prussia. Despite Austria probably being the least technological one out of the three of them, he probably would prefer phone calls as opposed to texting, so he would have his voicemail set up. But Prussia, on the other hand, is more texting than phone calls, so... He never bothered to set up his voicemail, despite how much he uses technology. And this also means he never learned how. But when he gets together with Austria and Hungary and they start calling him, he they tell him to set up his voicemail. And uh, when the, he figures out, when he learns how, he, um, he updates his voicemail every like three days or something with other variations of, I'm Prussia, I'm awesome, and uh, I probably didn't answer because I don't like you, or uh, you're not awesome enough to talk to me, and you know, just normal arrogant Prussia responses. And three, this is kind of obvious, who doesn't leave the house without their iPod? Uh, Austria, because you know, that guy has to tune out all the bullshit with classical music. I feel you, Austria. I feel you. And for any Pokemon Go fans out, this one is for you guys. In your OT3, who would be a member of what teams? This one's pretty obvious. I mean, especially going with my first headcanon of Prussia being basically a meme lord or just the owner of many trash memes and meme blogs. Um, Prussia would be a part of Team Instinct because, you know,
Spark is a fucking meme lord. Uh, Hungry would be Team Valor because, you know, she's competitive, she's very aggressive, just like the stereotype Team Valor members. And Austria would be Mystic because uh, Prussia and Hungary got him to join and that was the only team that neither of them had picked. And they probably pestered him about joining either teams because they get- because why not? And so he just said fuck you to both of them and decided to join Team Mystic. And now they all get into arguments over Pokemon, especially when Austria was the first one to catch a Dragonite and didn't tell them about it. <laughs> Until they saw him with the gym taken over. And then all three of them get really competitive over it. Pokemon Go, guys. Bringing people together and tearing people apart. I'm Team Mystic, by the way. And anyways, that basically ends our week on Prue Oshun or Frying Pangle. I hope you guys enjoyed these headcanons. If you agree with these headcanons or have different thoughts on these headcanons, uh, tell me down in the comments below. Or if you have other headcanons you want to share with me, tell me in the comments below or send them to me on my Tumblr or my Twitter, which are in the description, along with my Snapchat, Vine, and Instagram. Basically, if you have any ship requests of any kind for any fandom, Tell me down in the comments below or send them to me on any of my social medias that I have in the description. And I will see what I can do about them. If they are from something that I am not familiar with, I am sorry if I don't get to those because it is very hard for me to watch through an entire anime to do one video about them. It may be hard for me to do ships that I'm not familiar with. But I will try as best as I can. I'm probably going to be covering a lot of my personal OTPs first, which may be kind of selfish, but it's just what I have the most experience with, and I don't know, it's just it would make the mo it would make it easier for me and it would probably make for better content as as opposed to me rambling on about something that I don't exactly understand. So I hope you guys understand that, and I hope you guys understand, or I hope you guys can forgive me about the past, the things I apologized for at the beginning, and um, I'm going to try as hard as I can to upload while I'm on vacation, and that is basically it. So thank you guys so much for taking your time to watch this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, take a stab at that like button to let me know, and I hope to see each and every one of you sometime in the very near future. So take care of yourselves, everyone. Bye.